What's up everybody? John from Old Running Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're going to introduce you to most of the breeds of chickens that we have on our farm, give you a little info about them, and show you around. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's get to work. Okay, we were doing a live stream, which we do every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and somebody who was chatting with us asked us if we could put out a video that went over every type of chicken that we have on the homestead slash small farm. And I don't know if we're gonna go over every single kind because we have too many chickens, but what we're gonna do is go over some of our highlights, maybe a few lowlights, and talk about the brief history of chickens on Old Reading Farm. So let's get into it. We keep chickens in Southwest Connecticut. We've been keeping chickens here for four years, five years? Five, thank you. We've been keeping chickens here for five years, so we've had a lot of chickens over the course, hundreds, and we've ordered chickens from a lot of different places. So m maybe when we're going through the different varieties of chickens, if we can remember, we'll mention where we got them from, we'll talk about what color eggs that they lay, we'll talk about kind of their temperament, any funny experiences we've had with them, and hopefully that'll help somebody who's maybe thinking about getting chickens this spring. First chicken we're going to talk about is called a light Brahma. These chickens lay brown eggs and they do between three and five eggs per week. And now, of course, that can vary depending on your chicken's environment, their diet, the amount of stress that they're under or not under. People can also try to force chickens to lay more eggs by supplementing light and things like that. We don't do any of that. So three to five eggs a week. This is a good chicken for laying eggs. The internet defines them as gentle and easy to handle, and they are suitable in all climates. Certain chickens have different um, preferences or suitabilities for the kind of climates that they live in. Some are particularly able to handle hot climates or cold climates. Uh, these are generally suited to all climates. That brings us to our next breed of chicken, Egyptian Fayumi. <laughs> So this chicken lays white eggs. They do generally three to five eggs per week. Their temperament is active and flighty, which we 10 out of 10 agree with. Oh, and these chickens are known for being very heat hardy, though we're in winter right now and she's having a problem in the cold climate. Though, like I said, she's an OG. She's probably not laying any eggs anymore. A lot of the chickens that we have here on the farm, we don't really know what breed they are. Whenever I am shopping for chickens, I tend to buy variety packs. So I'll buy something that says like brown egg layer assortment and you get a better price. So you end up with chickens like this chicken who we think might be a well summer, but we're not totally sure if she is a well summer. They lay three to five dark brown eggs per week, suitable in all climates, and they are docile, friendly, and easy to handle. Next up on our list is Norman, our rooster, and we don't actually know what kind of rooster he is. He is a frizzle feather rooster, and he's a dude. He's one of the favorite roosters that we've ever had on the farm, and we love him a lot. And if anybody knows what kind of rooster he is, other than obviously a frizzle, please leave a comment down below. And right next to Norman is one of his babies. We keep Norman in a mixed flock and whenever we hatch out eggs, we end up with what we call barnyard mixes. So this is a mix of Norman and one of the ladies who lives with him. Here we have barred rock chickens. These chickens lay brown eggs and their egg production is very good, between four and six eggs a week. Their temperament is docile. They are very good in cold climates and they're also heavy birds, so some people who want to keep their chickens for dual purpose, i.e. meat and eggs, this would be a good chicken for you to consider. We like barred rocks because we think they're cute, and I do agree that they are docile and easy to handle. They're kind of big and slow movers. Very cute, very good egg layers. This is an excellent chicken for somebody who's considering getting started on chickens. The next chicken up on the list is Appenzeller Spitzhauer. This chicken is named Fajita. She lived in the house with us for a few months because all the rest of the chickens were very jealous of her very cool feathered hairstyle. She has also given us a very adorable baby. We call her Fajita's baby. She's obviously an Appenzeller Spitzhauer mixed with Norman. And we think the polka dots on her feathers are the absolute cutest. Good job, Fajita. Coming straight from my favorite chicken that we have on the homestead to my least favorite chicken we have on the homestead. This is a golden campine. Golden campines lay white eggs, allegedly between three to five eggs per week. Their temperament, 
in my notes I wrote down as yuck. I guess you could call them active and flighty. They're fast, they're troublemakers. I guess one good thing about them, if I had to say, was that they, well, they're very frequently low on the chicken totem pole. They will not be the rulers of the roost. And due to that, if you can see in the video, this chicken has her little tail feathers plucked out. She just, we have, I think, four of these and they get picked on by our other chickens. And they're not super friendly. They're not very easy to handle. They're fast. So if that sounds like the chicken for you, golden campine. Wait, that's not a chicken. That's our puppy Pebbles. How did you get in there? Next chicken up on the list are Silkies. Silkies come in a bunch of different colors. Right now we have white and black. This is a black one. It may also be a rooster, waiting to find out. Silkies lay between two to four eggs a week. Their temperament is very docile and sweet. They are sensitive to extreme temperatures on either end, so that's something that you might want to take in consideration. And Silkies are a bantam breed of chicken. They come smaller, about half the size as a regular chicken, um, but they're very good chickens to be pets. Very easy to incorporate into a flock. Very cute. Highly recommend. Next chicken up on the list is a Lavender Orpington. This is a little bit more of a rare breed of chicken. They lay large to extra large eggs, which are brown. These chickens are docile and affectionate like most Orpingtons. They have nice fluffy butts and pants. We're fans. Black Copper Morans are a new breed to us. We just got them for the first time this summer. They lay dark brown eggs, three to five of them a week. They're hardy in all climates. Very good looking birds. White Leghorns are the next bird that we have. These birds lay up to five or more white eggs per week. The internet has their temperament as active and skittish, though we have found that they're pretty calm and chill birds. We like them a lot. They are heat hardy, which is good to know if you live somewhere where it gets roasted over the summer. Last on the list is Jeffrey the Rooster. He is a buff laced Polish. If he were a hen, he would lay three to five white eggs a week. They are quiet and docile and heat hardy, and we agree with the temperament for Jeffrey. He's a dude. That's what we've got for you today as far as breeds of chickens on our homestead. We've got more. We've got some that are mysteries. If you have any questions about specific breeds or varieties of chickens, reach out to Farmer John. You can reach him on Instagram at Old Reading Farm. If you're looking for more chicken content, we post videos every Monday and Friday, usually in the morning, and we go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Be sure to check us out. Let us know what you think. Give this video a like. Leave us a comment. Ask us a question. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.